Yet another woman, this time in North Carolina, has been arrested for faking her own death and kidnapping, and she's purportedly been lashing out at police for posting an update on the case to concerned citizens, many of whom were praying for her own safe return. 37-year-old Margaret Maggie Francis Sweeney was reported missing by a friend who said that an anonymous person messaged them that Sweeney had been murdered, and somehow the Department of Social Services got a similar report. Now, police in Franklin, North Carolina, which is a small town nestled in the Great Smoky Mountains, has a population just over 4,000, they launched an all-out search for Sweeney, her body, even her killer, only to find that she was safe and sound the following day. After pinging her phone, detectives realized that it was apparently Sweeney herself who made the false report of her own brutal death by texting a friend of hers anonymously and telling the friend that she was murdered. So yes, reports of her death have been greatly exaggerated by her. Now, as you can imagine, police are understandably not very happy, saying, quote, Sweeney's actions caused our department, as well as other departments, many hours of work which could have been spent on other matters Family, friends, and the community as a whole were also very concerned and worried about Sweeney's welfare. She's now charged with filing a false report to a police station, falsely reporting a death or serious injury, and obstructing police. Many in her community were upset when they saw the police update that it was all a hoax. But you know who was also apparently upset about this? Sweeney herself. That's right. An account with her name responded to police on Facebook saying in part, quote, Social media has us believing we're entitled to know about people, situations that have nothing to do with us. In place of support, we ridicule, ridicule those who do not answer questions that make them comfortable, uncomfortable. I decide when, what, with whom I confide in. No one for a long time. Okay. Well, this comes in the wake of 25-year-old Carly Russell, a nursing student who went missing after dark from the side of a highway in Hoover, Alabama last month, just after calling 911 to report a child wandering alone on the side of the highway. She said she was getting out to check on the child and then suddenly disappeared. She turned up just two days later with what she later admitted was a fake story about being kidnapped. Police charged her with two misdemeanor counts of reporting a false kidnapping. Then a South Dakota woman pleaded guilty to making a false police report in Florida after police uncovered surveillance video of her buying the rope that she said she was tied up with from a local Walmart. And the whole stunt was reportedly to get a free STD test after cheating on her husband. Renee Skoklin was sentenced to two years under community control, a form of house arrest, eight years on probation. She'll also have to repay the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office more than $17,000 for all the resources that were used to investigate her fake rape claim. And then there was, of course, California mom, Cherry Papini, who disappeared for three weeks back in November of 2016. Papini told police that she'd been abducted at gunpoint by two Latino women. That story began to unravel when investigators found male DNA on her clothing that led them to her ex-boyfriend, whom she had been staying with while she pretended to be missing. Papini was released from federal prison last week after being sentenced to 18 months in prison last fall for that whole hoax. The amount of precious time and effort that's wasted by law enforcement in these cases when it could be spent on actual crimes, it is incredibly frustrating and upsetting to think about that. Which is why it infuriates me to read that nonsensical, almost flippant message that Sweeney seemingly left for the police on the department's Facebook page, which, by the way, is a tool they were using to find her. Joining me right now is Devin Holland. He's the police chief for the town of Franklin, where this was being investigated. Thank you so much for coming on the program, sir. Um, what's the latest in this? Do, do we have any understanding of why she did this? No, at this time, we have not had any follow-up interviews with Miss Sweeney. We... Uh, once she was arrested, she was released on her own recognizance, and we have not had any contact with her since. We would like to know the motive and reasoning behind her fabricated hoax of her being murdered. However, uh, we are unable to determine that at this time. Um, it could be a, a number of things from a domestic issue. It could be a, a mental illness issue, or it could be a revenge um, upon her yeah. boyfriend. Um, we just don't know the reasoning behind this. What was your reaction to the post allegedly made by her? I don't really have a reaction. Um, it made no sense to me. Um, I did read it several times to try to gain some comprehension of her statement, but um, I still don't understand what she was trying to convey to us. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.